and 2.9.3 related stage code. So just, you know, typing this stuff in, we'll back over the problem set in a second. So reset, setting x to be a variable. Using that variable, I'm going to integrate. And the exponential function, that's e to the power x squared. And I'm going to do it from, I'm sorry, with respect to the variable x, from 0 to 1. All right. Now, I'm not saying you're familiar with everything over here, but you're certainly seeing the result of this. It looks like there's an error function, there's an i involved, there's a p involved, yada, yada, yada. All right. Not very informative. All right. So, you know, I'm going to just copy paste now. I'm going to copy this one here. Tired of typing, right? Again, another thing with the error function, ERF, and I'm going to do this one over here. And again, we'll go back over this in a moment. And I'll type it in. And it says it's just the number E, all right? Euler's number. Let's go back over this and talk about how we did it. There was this problem over here, and I said that the integrations were really tough to do. Um, certainly, there's no trivial function for e to the x squared. So that was tough to do. But what we talked about is this over here, that there were inverses of each other. And then we talked about a you know, spiffy way of doing it. And I did a nice little visual over here for you to look at as well. All right, But we were able to do this without using a computer algebra system. But it sure is nice to be able to verify using a computer algebra system that, in fact, our reasoning was correct. It can't hurt. It's like a long multiplication, taking a calculator out, and you know, seeing that you really did a good job with it, or, or a poor job. you know. But anyway, worked out pretty nicely. Thank you for paying attention.